On Coronado Central Beach, this is all that remains of a 75 foot racing boat once slated to race in the America's Cup. Our ABC tennis reporter Michael Chen found out it comes nearly three decades after the same boat appeared to be headed to Miramar Landsville to be destroyed. Just north of the Hotel Del Coronado beachgoers like Peggy Olstein doing a double take. Came here to visit and wow, what do you know what we see? This wrecked boat. This was the scene two days ago around 7 a.m. Saturday. This video shows the 75 foot sailboat as it ran aground. Not long after lifeguard captain Sean Casey says the waves went to work. The mast broke off and uh, and then the hull literally just the boat broke into two pieces. Casey says the boat had been anchored more than two miles away at the Zuniga jetty in Point Loma. There was uh, some pretty rough conditions. I'm assuming that the anchor line just broke. The boat identified as the age of Russia. According to an LA Times story, it was built in Leningrad for 6 million rubles, just under $80,000. A Russian group of yachtmen sent the boat to San Diego in 1992 to compete in the America's Cup. But that group was never sanctioned by race officials to compete because of customs issues and because the group couldn't afford to bring it back. The boat was scheduled to be taken to Miramar Landfill and flattened, but a buyer came forward. Casey says recently it had been used for tours of the bay before its final unscheduled trip Saturday. It's frantic owner racing to the beach. His reaction was sort of shock and dismay. I mean, he's he was very upset. Casey says the boat was insured, which means the cleanup costs could be covered nearly three decades after it was originally slated for the landfill. Use some heavy equipment, some dump trucks. The boat unable to escape the same fate this time. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Casey says there is an ongoing problem. Boats without slips on the bay. They're anchored in the Zuniga jetty and they become loose during stormy weather.